Hello scrapbooking ladies, I'm coming today with just a um, quick card share. Um, I had mentioned that in the beginning of the new year that I'm going to start posting my things also to YouTube. I have a blog and that's where I post a lot of my challenge cards that I do for lots of different blog challenges. But I also wanted to share my creations with my YouTube friends and those that um, maybe don't follow my um, blog. And my blog is craftymarla.blogspot.com and I'll put the link in the description box below. And then if you are interested in following, I have a thing where you can follow by email so when I do a new posting it'll show up. But um, I just recently, I've always loved the look of the greeting farm stamps, but um, you know, some of the single ones, they're like $7 just for one stamp, and I really haven't wanted to um, pay that price, but they are they are so adorable, and there's so much that you can do with them that I have kind of broke down and um, bought a few of them recently, and so then I was just following on the Greeting Farm blog, and they do quite a bit of challenges. I know um, Steph10892 um, does a lot of their challenges, and gets pretty lucky and wins some stamp sets sometimes. And um, the challenge that they have going on, it's until January, I believe like the 8th or something. The challenge is retro um, Christmas, like not using non-traditional Christmas colors and using retro meaning a stamp six months or older. So one of the stamps that I got from the Greeting Farms recently was this Cafe Ian. Um, I love coffee, so I just thought him and Ate, Latte Anya were so cute. So this is the card I created and I used the Echo Park this and that um, Christmas but um, a lot of them is not you know real traditional um, Christmas colors so I just used the script um, background and I inked it with um, my Tim Holtz Distress Inks and then these are just some cardstock. Um, there's a couple different pieces that were from scraps from my stash. And then the bottom is just like a wood grain, so it kind of looks like a floor of that same Echo Park Christmas this and that. And then I paper pieced um, Ian and I used my Copics and my Letra set markers to color him in. And his coffee cup, I actually used my distress markers to color that in. His outfit is paper pieced with some of that same pattern paper. I thought that striped little jacket kind of looked a little retro. And then this back piece, this mesh um, looking wired ribbon came from Zio Pre-K202 in my winnings from her on YouTube. So I thought that looked kind of fun just for like a little door, just something for him to be behind. And then this cute little October afternoon Be Merry flag came from Sybil, which is Jay and Sib80 here on YouTube. So thank you very much, Sybil. I thought that was a cute little addition to my card. And then this is um, actually after Chris or Black Friday, after Thanksgiving, JC Penney's were giving away buttons and you could win um, things with those buttons. And so um, my daughter got a couple of them and I got a couple of them and I kept them because I thought they kind of reminded me of like flair or buttons and badges um, to put on cards. So I thought this one was um, very appropriate since it was like cocoa or coffee. So I added that to um, underneath to kind of cover up my flag. So that is my... Um, challenge for the Greeting Farm blog, the retro non-traditional Christmas colors. Thank you ladies for watching and have a nice day.